Hey, what is going on, everybody? It's Emmanuel once again from the Digital Pencils. Um, so today, what we'll be doing, what we'll be doing is very simple. We'll just be learning how to, like, transfer, how to change the background of an image. Like, as you can see, this image over here. If I move this guy around, um, you would see that he is not part of the background image. Like, we just placed him over here. So that is what we'll be learning today. Um, so I'll put a link to the resources in the description below so you can download and follow along. So you just go to where you have your resources, right click and um, let's wait for it to open up. And you go to open with, come on, choose Photoshop. So if you're not seeing Photoshop in your options here, go to choose other apps. And um, you see a list of other options that you can choose from. All right, just click on Photoshop, click on OK. So this is the completed version, the one I showed you guys before. Okay, so I will see do the same for the background. Let's click on it. Open with Photoshop. All right. So the idea is just to transfer this image to this image. Like we're just transferring this guy to um, this beach image here. Okay. So the first thing to do is just to make a selection of this guy because we want to cut out the background. We just want the guy alone. We don't really want the background here. So what I'm going to do for that is I'll just press select. I'll go to subject and I'll click on subject. So what that does is um, it allows Photoshop to select the subject of the image for you automatically without you using your quick selection tool. Okay, so Photoshop just detects the subject of your image and it selects it automatically for you. So, but we'll still have to do some adjustments because if you look over this place, I'm just going to zoom in. If you look over here, you can see that the selection is not perfect because all this part of his body is not selected. Photoshop still selected some part of the background, so we are going to erase that off. So I'll just click my, I'll just take my quick selection tool and I'll click on the minus to subtract from the selection. And I'll just go and make my brush a little bit bigger, okay? Okay, like this, about the size. And I'll just click and push inside. So it selects this part also, because I don't really want the background. Okay, I'm going to go back. I'll click on the zoom tool here. And I'll click on fit screen. Okay, so um, okay, all this part is cool. The selection over here is good. I'll just zoom into the head, into his hair, and I'll take my quick selection tool. I'll click on add to selection, and I'll just add a bit of all this part here, like this. Okay. still add in still add in still add in I'm just gonna add this part of his ears his ear okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just clicking okay just clicking on the place to add so I'll click on subtract and I'll make my brush smaller to about 10, 10 pixels and I'll just subtract this part of his ear alright so I'll click on the zoom click on fit screen alright so we just made a selection of this image what we want to do next is to remove the image from the background so what you can easily do just press ctrl and j ctrl j okay so let me unlock this background layer. If I click on this padlock, it will unlock it, and I'll just hide it. So you can see the image is without a background. Okay, it's on the new layer, the layer one. So what we, what we're going to do now is we just click on the image, hold it, drag it. So this new document here, you have this beach image, and just drop it there. All right. So we have to resize it. So press Ctrl T. 
for free transformation hold on your alt the alt on the keyboard and then you just resize if if i remove my hand from the alt you see it will be resizing um on one side you just want it to resize resize on the four sides so you need to hold an alt and then you resize make it as big as you want and you're just gonna place it like over here like this okay so we are almost done I'm going to unlock this layer also um so this is the subject of the image but over here the background is too outstanding we want to make it we want to add some blur effects to it so just go to filter blur and choose Gaussian blur okay yeah, so 10 pixels is okay. You can just punch in 10 pixels, like just type in 10 on your keyboard, 10 pixels. And turn on your preview so you see. Now just click on OK. So this is it. All right, this is how you can easily change um, the background of any image. So there are so many ways to this, but that is like the simplest way to just do it. Um, I did a complete video on so many ways you can change the background of an image. So I'll put a link also to that in the description. You can check it out if you want to. So what I want to do, I just want to add something called um, a photo filter. Because I just want to like blend the image together with the background. Okay, so I'll just go to my window. I'll click on adjustment. And I'll just click on photo filter. Okay, it will bring out this and um, if I increase this so right now it's about 25% so if I increase this if you observe you'll be seeing some changes on, on the image so it's kind of like blending the image together with the background so I'll just leave it to 25 that was the default for mine All right, I don't really want much of it oh let me take it up to 30 alright cool so this is fine oh yeah so this is our image all right so this is how you can easily change the background of any image so i'd like to hear your thoughts leave your comments in the comment box below and um give this video a like if you like it so thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next tutorial